All right, so I just officially found the altcoin that's going to 100x this bull cycle. Not only do I believe it's going to 100x, but I believe in the next couple of days or so, it's gonna do some numbers. It's gonna go up in price by a lot. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of months, it does 100% return. And I'm gonna get very specific because the FOMC meeting is in March 19th to 20th. So you've been watching my videos, you know I'm bullish and you know that nothing is going to change until March 19th to 20th. This altcoin is juicy. I mean, one of the founders is literally a boy genius. This guy was pitching a startup at the age of 17 at a Bitcoin conference. He was a member of the MIT Bitcoin club and has extensive experience in blockchain technology. This is a gaming coin and the creative director is literally the creative director for Jurassic Studios. Yes, Jurassic Studios, like Jurassic Park and Disneyland and all that crazy stuff. The other co-founder worked for NBA 2K and was the director of technology at Ubisoft. This is like if Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry, and Shaquille O'Neal got on the same team with me, obviously running point guard. This, this, it's just ridiculous how crazy this team is. What's even more important is that this coin will pump extremely fast. As you can see right here, if you just put $300,000 investment into this coin, it will pump it by 40%. That's the price impact. So that means that this coin is a micro cap and will jump up very, 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 very fast. With just $18,000 on Bybit, it will pump this coin 2%. This is the capital required to increase the price by 2%. This is a micro cap undervalued gem. The TVL is going parabolic and has broken all time high. And I wouldn't be surprised if it jumps up by a couple hundred thousand dollars in the next couple of weeks. Just think about what I'm saying for a second. We're talking about MIT, right? Ubisoft, NBA 2K, Jurassic Park. This is the highest levels of credibility you could possibly achieve in the world, basically. And it's so small that $20,000 pumps the coin 2%. That's absurd. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Myra, which is redefining the future of gaming. But honestly, who cares? We're all here to just make money, not play video games, hopefully. Myria, Myria, My, that's Myria. My, 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 whatever, bro. Unfortunately, we only have 53 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes, 19, 18, 17 seconds till the next Bitcoin halving we need to turn up. The Federal Reserve meeting is March 19th to 20th and they are not making a decision till then. So we know that the market is gonna continue to go up at least until this date. And at this meeting is when I'll make a decision to hold my altcoins or when to sell. So make sure you follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, of course, follow it. And if you're new here, you probably missed out on the fact that we're up big as you can see from my inner circle group that I have been buying Pendle Finance since August 23rd and every single one of my buy calls is up in significant profit. This is right here when I actually dropped the video and ever since then it's been going pretty much parabolic. This is one of the most beautiful price charts in all of crypto right now. Once I break this down for you, once I give you evidence behind why I think this coin is going to 100x and once I overwhelm you with the amount of research that I've been doing for the past month on these altcoins, are you going to take action and do something and change your life and become financially independent and get that vacation you're looking for, get your parents out of poverty? Are you going to do something about it? Or are you just gonna sit on your hands and cry about what you don't have and what you can't do? Are you gonna cry about it or are you gonna do something? That's, that's a great question. And this will make you wanna do something. As you can see from the decentralized exchange pool liquidity, this coin is small. This is only 400,000 TVL or total value locked. Now, the reason why this gives me confidence is because if you look at the liquidity ads, you could see that there's large amounts being added. This is small in my perspective. There's large amounts as we go through and shift through you know, these transactions, we see two transactions of 459,000. Now I'm not worried about the Myra, what I'm really worried about is the ETH, because right now that's what's actually valuable. Somebody deposited this large amount of money. Not only that, somebody deposited this large amount of money. This was four days ago, shortly after the price pumped. So it's important to understand that not only does this coin have a superstar team, but it's extremely small 
and there's credibility when it comes to finances behind it too. Somebody is putting their money where their mouth is. And if you're wondering, this is all part of the smart strategy. What I'm looking at right now is the liquidity. And if you wanted to get this checklist, I have an entire structure that I've been refining for the past eight years of making millions of dollars in crypto, losing millions of dollars in crypto, and also coaching thousands of people to success in cryptocurrency trading, there's so many different testimonials. I actually did a live training for you guys. All you have to do is click the link below and it will take you over to a training to where you could literally watch and see my entire checklist. And in that video, I give you the checklist 100% free. All you have to do is screenshot it and I even explain it for you. And the whole point of the checklist is to be able to go through a coin and compare and contrast the different variables of the coin. Kind of like stats from a football player or a basketball player. You could easily compare, for example, a shooting guard from another shooting guard by looking at the stats and looking at, okay, did he make more threes? Is this person better with handles? What's his passing ratio? Like all of these things, right, contribute to a better basketball player. And you could do the same exact thing in cryptocurrency by comparing and contrasting the stats. And I give you that checklist 100% free. Click the link below and get access to that. Now, a good thing about Myria or Myra or whatever the, it's called is that it's on KuCoin and Bybit, but not on Coinbase and Binance, right? Coinbase and Binance are like the biggest exchanges in all of crypto. And these coins, being that they're on these two big exchanges, they have some credibility. But as you know, if you've been in crypto, you know that when it gets launched on Coinbase and Binance, these coins skyrocket in price. With the increased liquidity, the price rises a lot. And I'm gonna stress this again, the plus two depth right there, as you can see, this is the capital required to increase the price by 2%. And as you can see from these numbers, there's a very small amount of capital that you need to move the price of this asset it will rapidly increase. It's gonna go up by a lot because of how small the liquidity is, guys. It's very important. And if you use risk management, as well as you understand that the Bitcoin halving is going to pump every single coin on the market, then you'd realize that you want to pivot yourself in these low liquid coins so that you can get the best return on your money. It's kind of the goal of crypto is to try to get the biggest returns. And like we talked about before, if we look at the decentralized exchange, we were just looking at the centralized exchange. If we look at the decentralized exchange, just a simple $300,000, 293,000 or 100 ETH will move this coin 38.43%. So this is the price impact. And basically it's, it's how much the price moves when you're buying it. So you'll get you'll lose 38% of your money if you try to buy $300,000 worth of Miria. So this also shows us that, hey, I can move this coin with 300 grand, this large percentage, that's a huge percentage, a 40% increase is crazy. So just think about it. There's some major whales in the cryptocurrency market, major whales. With just a million dollars, they can pump this like crazy. What's, what's a million dollars? Let's do 200 ETH, right? 200 ETH, I mean, this is 200 ETH is moving it by almost 70%. So half a million dollars, you're almost doubling the price of this coin. We're talking about low liquidity, guys. This is the type of stuff you want to get yourself involved with. This is how you get 100X. You're not going to get 100X based off the mainstream coins that everybody talks about, like XRP and all the coins from last cycle. You're just not going to get 100X. Another thing I really like is that the TVL is showing consistent growth. Although this is very small, the TVL is only 170K, you can see that it's consistently growing. You don't see nobody withdrawing a massive amount of liquidity. You don't see anyone pulling out large amounts where you don't see any kind of like pump and dumps in the growth trajectory of the TVL. And all of these contribute to a very, very good risk to reward ratio for the liquidity in general on this coin. Now, if we go into what everybody looks at, which is the token supply and the tokenomics and how it's been distributed, nothing out of the ordinary. This is pretty straightforward. There's nothing that's super crazy, you know, towards the founding members or anything like that. This is normal. And another thing I wanna highlight is 36% of all of these tokens 
are going to node emissions. And if you look at the node, it's basically created in a way that incentivizes people to hold the tokens. Not exactly like a lockup, but very similar to a lockup. Meaning, if they take the tokens that they earned operating a node, before a seven day period, they get penalized and they actually make less money. So it incentivizes them to hold the tokens as long as possible. And being that we're in the beginning of a bull run, I have a feeling that a lot of these guys are just gonna hold anyways. So this lockup period is something I look for in cryptos and it does have a version of that through the node incentive system. Now, if we look at the use case, it's basically a layer two. And if you watch my videos for the past couple months, you know I am crazy about layer twos. I think there are gonna be the winner protocols this cycle. I think a lot of liquidity is gonna be moving over to layer twos. It's currently kind of the thing, as you can see from L2 Heartbeat, all the layer twos are getting the liquidity, I mean, with billions of dollars of liquidity, look at Arbitrum. This is how I called Pendle Finance. This is one of the biggest reasons I made money is because I watched the liquidity move into Arbitrum. Look at this, you know, TVL increase. This is almost parabolic. All of the money is moving from the winner layer one, which is Ethereum. I know this is very hard for a lot of people to swallow, but it's going to be very difficult to compete with Ethereum. They are dominating the market by far. They have all of the developers. They have all of the infrastructure. They have all of the liquidity. So for me as an investor slash trader, what I'm looking for is coins that can easily extract money away from Ethereum specifically. And that's what Myra does. Myra is a layer two that directly connects to Ethereum and other layer ones, and it essentially extracts liquidity, but scales on the blockchain gaming and NFT level. As you can see here, its purpose is to scale NFTs and blockchain. So although Ethereum is slow and expensive, this is a great solution for gaming specifically, which is a niche. And that's important because niches do grow and gaming is one of the biggest niches in all of cryptocurrency. As you can see here, the global gaming industry is currently estimated to be worth $200 billion, growing at 12% a year. And I'm pretty sure this metric does not include the Bitcoin halving cycle, the super cycle, the bull run that we're you know, experiencing very soon. It's not considering that. When that happens, it's about to be crazy for the gaming industry. It's gonna go crazy. Now, very briefly, I wanna talk about the nodes. There's only gonna be 40,000, so that's a scarcity element there. But as you can see here, this is what I was specifically looking for. There's an early claim fee and an ecosystem bonus pool. So this is essentially an incentive model to incentivize these node runners to not sell their coins. They, if they don't sell their coins, they make significantly more. And this locks this coin up at a big rate because remember, 36% of all of the entire supply is going to the nodes. It's going to the nodes and the people that run them. Now, personally, I've already done the math. I don't think it's wise to actually buy a node at this point, I don't. I think you make way more money if you just buy the coin. But right now, nodes go for about $6,000 and eventually there will be no more nodes. So I think it's a very cool incentive model uh, for price appreciation and obviously to run it on a technical level, they obviously need that and it's worked before. This is the key, it has worked before. Gala Games actually had the exact same incentive model. Their nodes are worth like a hundred grand at this point. And look at the price appreciation of Gala Games. We're talking about major percentages. If we look at the all-time high, right, and where it came from from the all-time low, this is a 18,780% increase. That's pretty big. That's insane. That's really big. So this is an actual proven system that has worked before, and that's key when buying cryptocurrencies. You want to make sure it's not out of the ordinary and not crazy, some random project that nobody knows about and it never worked before. This has already worked. This has already worked. And as you can see from Gala Games, it's much better to buy Miria because Gala Games takes $361,000 to pump it 2%. Meanwhile, it only takes about $12,000 to pump it 2%. So which one's gonna move faster? Now, the big question is, do they have the technical capabilities to actually pull this off? Being that they don't actually have a game launched publicly yet, which we'll talk about more in the future, they need to have the technical capabilities to do this. 
And you can see that this is one of the technical leads. If we scroll to the bottom, he was involved with PYCO Group. And then we look at one of the other developers, as you can see here, he's a blockchain lead as well. Um, he was involved with the same company. So they look like they got some talent from this company specifically. And if we look at what this company does, they essentially provide technology services that digitally transform our clients and generate business value. So they code software for businesses. So can the team pull it off? Well, I think there's a good chance they can. And on a side note, Myra actually uses Starkware Stark Power. It utilizes zero knowledge rollups or ZK rollup technology to bundle large numbers of transactions into a single transaction to facilitate up to 9,000 transactions per second. Now, the interesting part about this is they're using the same technology as StarkNet. And StarkNet just recently had a major TVL increase. As you can see here, this is not small. We're talking about from 182 million to 1.31 billion. So that is like 800 million, uh, like um, this is a billion dollars being invested into StarkNet. So somebody believes in the technology, they believe that this technology is gonna be good, right? So if they see other projects like Miria as a layer two, which by the way, layer twos can connect to different layer ones so it can extract liquidity from multiple places. When they see this technology, it gives them confidence. So I think this is also very interesting, kind of like on a side note. Now, unfortunately right now, they don't actually have a game, but they did announce that they're doing a play test this March. So although this could be a bad thing right now, they don't have a game, where's the demand coming from? It's all speculation, I get it. But when they do launch a game, right? What does that mean for the price of the coin, right? It says buy the rumor, sell the news, right? We all should know this by now. The goal is to get in early. Do we think they're actually gonna launch a game? If you ask me, from what I've seen, the technical capability, the amount of credibility behind it, I mean, there's some big influencers, like even Alex Becker, that's already publicly promoted this, and this dude's worth like $100 million, according to his YouTube channel. There's some big dudes promoting this and actually talking about this specific coin. I think Alex Becker is even an advisor to this coin. Can they come out with a game? Honestly, I think it's pretty obvious that they will come out with a game and I think the game will be good. And regardless if it's good or not, it doesn't really matter for price appreciation in crypto. If you've been in this market for any period of time, you'd realize a lot of these projects and a lot of these products are very new. And the reason why these coins pump is really because of perception. Perception is the reason why these coins pump. So can this be the layer two that takes over all of crypto? Honestly, it doesn't even matter, but I think it has a good chance because regardless, the price is gonna go up and this might be the closest to 100X I have recently picked in all of my videos. But remember, when it's small, it's high risk versus high reward, so be careful. To sum everything up, I personally put my money where my mouth is. I purchased this coin, I think it's gonna do well. But before you go and try to buy this coin and start freaking out about how the price is gonna increase and then tell all of your friends, I think it's very important that you take into consideration risk management and understand the complete strategy. I don't just buy coins. I've been looking at this coin for a long time and I have capital that can be allocated at this high risk play. Now, if you don't have a lot of money, if you're starting with less than $2,000, I have CoinPix Army for you, where I give you safer coins, where you can guarantee your profits with safe, high liquid coins. When you're playing with things like this, with low liquidity like that, you can lose your money very fast if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't have risk management. This is why a lot of people got wrecked last cycle and that's why a lot of people call crypto a scam. It's not that crypto is a scam, it's that your strategy is a scam. It's as simple as that. So if you didn't know, I have two groups. CoinPix Army is meant for people with less than $2,000 in the market. And then I have CoinPix Inner Circle specifically as meant for people that are willing to take on more risk that have more capital to play. And both links will be in the description below. So take advantage of that. And as for this coin, it's very simple. Their team is stacked. It's as simple as that. They're using a winner model that's worked last cycle, which is the node system, right? That we saw with Gala Games. They're using a layer two, which I think is very wise. I think it's the smartest thing you could do basically right now in cryptocurrency is make a layer two that stacks on top of Ethereum and takes liquidity away from Ethereum. Their liquidity is low, so it can move very fast and they're advocated by some big players in the industry. 
So I believe this matches my main criteria. I look for coins that are small enough so that they can pump very fast, but not a scam and that have mechanisms of demand that will bring users and people to it. Once the gaming industry gets going in cryptocurrency, this coin is going to do numbers, big numbers. But you have to be patient and always remember, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.